hey Obama this is to you uh, and not to any silly folks that want to sit out there and beat me up with their typewriter uh, violence is the key to freedom uh, pal uh, are you telling me I served in the military for nothing uh, trained to kill for nothing uh, violence has been the key to freedom throughout the world's history fool uh, do you think that uh, the Jews would have been uh, liberated from uh, Hitler's death camps had violence not ensued? Fool, do you think you'd possibly be f uh, uh, still a slave today or people of your kind had the Civil War not took place? Uh, that was pretty violent there, pal. Violence is the key to freedom, Obama, which you may find out as soon as you decide you are going to suspend elections in your aspirations to be whatever you think you're going to be. You're either going to be a dictator or you're just a fool that thinks you're going to sit around and hold hands and sing Kambaya or whatever that hippie song is. You're a fool. Violence is the key to freedom. We'll begin with our own history. Did you think the British just up and left because we said, hey, bye-bye, go, enough of you? Did Hitler give up his reign of power because you said violence is not the key? Did Hitler, was Hitler's power taken away because of peaceful uh, methods? Uh, did Japan surrender uh, because of non-violent methods? Violence is the key to freedom. Freedom is something that people, folks, died for, Obama. If you want to talk, you know, I hear all the time about women's suffrage, black suffrage, Hispanic suffrage, this suffrage, abortion suffrage. You know, Obama, you know the big suffrage of the United States is called white male suffrage? The white male suffrage of the United States of America is the largest suffrage probably in the history of the world. And that is our nation's wars. All of them, the bulk of them, even today, are carried by white males. The deaths are white males. The after effects of those of us who survive are mainly white males. Violence is the key to freedom, Obama. Passiveness, passiveness will get you what the Jews got. Now let me tell you something. I support Israel 100%. I'm glad Netanyahu is back in there. They keep calling him the new Prime Minister. Look, he's the right Prime Minister and I support him 100%. Including a nuclear a preemptive strike against Iran. I support the man 100% because violence is the key to doing away with tyranny. And if you don't watch your step, you're going to find that out, pal. But the Jews, the passiveness, the non-aggression, they went like lambs to slaughter. Here, get in the, get in the oven. Let me gas you. Let me clean you up. Let me clean, let me clean you. Passively, nonviolence. Nonviolence saved the Jews. Right, Obama? Wrong. Violence is the key to freedom, Obama. You don't believe me? Send your Miss Piggy, N N N uh, Napolitano, uh, out here to take my weapons or to stifle my speech. I pose no threat. I'm only a threat when you start infringing on my rights. Gates, you're a maggot. One of your soldiers was murdered by a terrorist and I've heard nothing from you. Obama, you seem to rejoice in that young white male infantry soldier you notice the blue cord, that's the sign of infantry. Murdered, murdered by a black bastard Muslim. 
and I didn't hear one word out of you, Obama, and you, you maggot gates, and you, Napolitano, that's an attack on this country from within. That guy that killed that idiot doctor posed probably only a threat to a very select few people, probably only that doctor tiller. That black bastard, Muslim, posed threat to, 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 to the entire nation, or whoever he decided to kill. But we get more news coverage, more news coverage for the women of MSNBC, the women uh, women uh, Blitzer, the woman Blitzer, and the woman Sanchez from CNN, they all covered the death of this abortion doctor more than this fine, young, white, male, infantry soldier shot down in cold blood by a black Muslim bastard. That's what this country has become under Obama. And Napolitano sits back with her lipstick on her pig face and says nothing. Wants to complain about that idiot that shot that other idiot. At least the guy did it out of some form of ideology. And as long as he takes his punishment, hey, he did what he believed uh, he should do. And he probably saved a bunch of babies. I wished I had a little baby here now to show you what abortion looks like. Not a real baby. So violence is the key to freedom, Obama. White male suffrage is and has been our nation's wars, Obama. Look at the statistics. Look at the race of the mainly infantry type folks that die in even your wars now, Obama. They're majority white males. So I don't want to hear any more foolishness about uh, uh, non-violent methods. Violence is the key to freedom. It's been proven over and over. Somewhere you're missing something there. Uh, pal, so you're either a the big uh, give, uh, give, uh, deception. You're you're deceiving the world, and and these fools follow you like idiots, like Jonestown, MSNBC, those women, those girls. You know, enough is going to be enough. This this has turned into some kind of an occult with you. <laughs> And you know what? I may stand alone, but I tell you what, at least I will die a free, a free, a partially free man. I'm not totally free of taxes and things, but maybe I'll die partially free, but I'll stand alone. I don't care whether you agree with me or not. You're, you, you, you're fine. My, 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 my place is open. You, you can write your comments. I see some of you making silly arguments. Uh, you'll be the first to go in the oven. You're passive. Just go right in. Jews? Again, don't get me wrong. I support Israel 100%. I don't support any Jew here in the United States because the majority of you vote for guys like Obama. And you'll do it again and again because you are a passive, lamb to slaughter type of folks. You go to your death wittingly. Israel I support. Netanyahu, he's not the new prime minister. He's the right prime minister. The key to freedom, Obama's violence. You're a fool if you think otherwise. And quit trying to rewrite history with your mouth, talking about blacks in America achieved their freedom uh, through nonviolent means. 600,000 white males, mainly white males, died. And it's called the Civil War, Obama. White male suffrage, Obama, nation's wars. Start looking at the pictures and the faces of the men who have died, and some women, in our country's wars. White males, Obama. White males gave you your freedom, fool. God bless America. <laughs>